As promised, welcome back. Here is a brand new 2023 Winnebago View 24V. V is in Victor. Um, we got it in the shop. Like I said, this one's got a deal hanging on it. So it is a sold unit. It will be going down the road shortly. So normally I like to catch these before they get all their uh, service technicians into them. And I know some people have complained about uh, me doing it without things looking 100% perfect. Saying, hey, um, why are you showing me a camper that's not set up for sale? And well, simple answer is I'm not selling it. Just showing it to you guys as it comes in. So kind of a unique perspective. One little slide out over here. Slide out topper, of course. Propane access is there. Looks like we got tank dumps hanging out. Looks like that little string pops out if you don't pay cl too close of attention. Let's continue on back here. Looks like we got an on-demand aqua go truma water heater. Got your power over there, water station here. Looks like you've got everything set up from an easy winterization standpoint, so that's incredibly convenient. Potable water. Walking around the back. Pretty straightforward. You got your backup camera there. It does come with a ladder to go to the roof. You do have your tow hitch right here. Um, if I can get my head down here, it tells you what it is, 5,000 pound max. Um, from a hitch standpoint in here oh that's just plastic i thought maybe the floor was rippled so that's plastic no reason to be alarmed obviously you can tell i don't check these things out too thoroughly before i video them because that would be you know not the point um generator exhaust hanging out here of course led lights bump this down a little bit so i can open the side one you can kind of see the other side of it. I suppose if I was a thinking guy, there are lights in here, so you can kind of see what you're doing. Close that. <coughs> Move you down here. Nice big storage. Again, those F shocks, they hold themselves up. Quiet diesel generator. Propane uh, connection right there. Uh, just pretty, pretty par for the course. Full body paint ready to rock and roll they have a really cool awning system that's up top now so if you kind of take a look at that and maybe i don't have the best angle but they just kind of telescope out and it's kind of really nifty decent sized storage here this class c's is a little bit harder to get some of the larger store storage compartments in them Nice big grab handle here. This is the latch from it inside out. Again, the doors all painted full graphics. You can see right through that window there. And as long as I'm hanging out here, you can close that up. So now you don't have that ability to see in. So if you guys are camping, you get some privacy. Little storage buckets in here. That's kind of nifty. I did this uh, in error on the last one. If you pull this, actually gives you a screen looks like i'm pinching the carpet down there that's why i didn't want to close so nothing wrong with the camper but that'll give you a nice screen nice open air feeling i think that's kind of cool i suppose i should show you the battery disconnect awnings all that kind of good stuff oh awnings just on i don't want it on i just want the awning light on there we go there you go you can kind of see what that looks like Pretty nifty. All right, moving up, we do have a uh, power stabilizer. So this is gonna auto level itself. Really nice feature to have on any motorhome, especially a Class C. It's not typically something you're gonna find them with. All right, looking towards the front, you can kind of see the ladders hanging out here. It does store on these two hooks over to the right. Bunk over cab, power outlets up front. 110 12 volts all that good stuff stuff excuse me reading lights you do have uh, window blocks right there or you can open the windows up 
kind of gives you a unique ability to do whatever you want. Big fan above you. Sucks a lot of air out. These chairs do swivel and spin around and become part of the living area. There are boosters in back. Uh, we'll get to that. I'll show you that. Everyone, of course, wants to buy a car with cup holders. So there you have it. Cup holders. I'm joking. Power seats. Fully adjustable. All that kind of good stuff. Nice big handbrake pull. Place to mount a uh, table right here. Or right here. Fold out couch, of course that becomes a more sleeping area. MCD roller shades kind of throughout. If you are curious how this one is equipped, feel free to hit pause and do what it is you need to do. Hopefully I'm holding that camera sturdy enough. I got a hand hold mount here and it does shake a little. Hopefully my GoPro uh, takes into account some of that and gets rid of it for me. Cool storage. If I back up and spin you guys around kind of a really nice looking coach under light backlight everywhere nice big uh dual well sink pull out spray faucet nice big windows there um television with a sound bar is hanging out here as the other one did have paper towel holder kind of nifty kind of a fan if you can't tell um, there is a propane and induction stove top. Convection microwave up top. And down below, I'll just open up the storage. And again, for such a small unit, it has a lot of room in it. Again, I'll show this. You push this in, this little lever pops up, latches onto here, locks it. Can't get in. Maybe the kids will find it, maybe they won't, but I kind of like it. I have some other videos of some higher end uh, truck campers that have been utilizing those for a while. Quiet closed drawers. Cutting boards that of course will uh, go over the top of the sinks over here. I think the last one I had were white. And again, I just kind of push those and they do the little quiet close thing. Nice big fridge and freezer. 12 volts, of course. Ready to rock and roll. There is a control panel right above the fridge. And I apologize for the close view, but you've got your solar charge controller, um, generator control, tank heaters, and of course your inverter control. So everything's kind of hanging out there. Uh, moving back over here, the bathroom. Does have nice towel holders, ready to rock and roll. Nice sink. The John, of course, porcelain. You've got that European thing. Um, I suppose you can use it for toilet cleaning and or something a little more hygiene appropriate. There is hanging storage in here if you wish. Otherwise, you can lift it up and get rid of it. Nice vent fan in here as well. You do have your hot water control. Hanging out right there. Nice little towel rack with the W on it. Medicine cabinet. All very, very nice. Little rack storage there. And decent storage underneath the sink. All right, bringing you to the bedroom. This is uh, the twin bed or one king bed model. So you can either have uh, separate sleeping or you can take these cushions, slide one of these things out. I don't know which one moves again. I told you I haven't played with it at all. One of these things will pull forward. It's gonna be the bottom one because uh, the top one's locked on me. There you go. Pulls it through, makes it into a huge bed. And of course, you can put it away. All right, that is in. There is storage on the way in here. You have your table strapped, more hanging storage, um, your pedestal, the microwave stuff, dump hose, just a little collect all right now. And again, big storage across, plenty of space, plenty of room. You can't open up two of the ends ones at the same time as you do the corner ones here, because otherwise they'll hit. They don't hit when they're opening, but 
A nifty little corner back there. You kind of get the idea. Um, when you do open these, you do get a back glow up there. You can kind of see it. It's that top glow up here. Kind of does the back glow so you can kind of see what you're doing. You have your reading lights. There are some nifty baskets down here. I suppose I should show you the power. USB 12 volt and 110. Another basket over there. Um, if you guys are hanging out in bed, television is uh, right there ready to rock and roll for you and again more storage behind that i was a little concerned with this but it looks like it clears doesn't hit the tv you're good to go infinitely adjustable shelves again more stay hanging storage and uh i do a good job of utilizing all their space so nice drawers there quiet clothes still ready to go Looks like your vents are fully adjustable. You can kind of pick and choose where you want everything to go. So I like that feature. If you've seen any of my other videos, I'm a fan. Um, one of the other things I guess I'll point out is you have switches in here. So you can go dim, off, or bright. Kind of gives you some mood options. And there's a couple switches throughout the unit that do that as well is an attic fan hanging out here. So I know you don't have a vent fan up here. This does have a suction fan that'll air out your unit in here as well. As always, questions, comments, concerns, just let us know. Thanks for watching.